No, I don't count. I don't count. I killed. It's all yours. It's all yours. Yes. Oh, good try. Give him a hand for trying to. Hey, for it. Five minutes, go. Five minutes are we getting started. Who's the best voice in the game? Ready? This is hard. <laughs> Illusion. Oh. Oh. Time to see, boys on the woods side, girls on the girls side. Don't forget, if you haven't said your first, you got to before the service actually start. If you haven't signed in for the raffle, we are raffling um, a lot of things tonight. There's three big teddy bears over there, and uh, we have a bike for the boys and a bike for the girls. So we got a lot of things going out tonight. All because you deserve it. <laughs> Teddy bear, say I do. Ten minutes of showing up early. Here it is. Please remain in your seat. You just about got pinned down. Huh. Here comes another one. Oh, a long shot. Oh, he almost hit. Ready, here we go. 
go. Let's count it down. Ready? Ten. Heads are bowed, eyes are closed. Let's get started with our service tonight. Shh, let's pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Thank you. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for tonight. Thank you so much that we've had a wonderful night already with great things going on. Bless, I do pray, the remainder of our service. Help us do the best we can to listen on purpose. Well, thank you in Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen and amen and amen. How many excited to be here tonight? Say, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that was weak. I said, who's excited to be here tonight? Say, yes, sir. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go over some rules real quick. Rule number one is sit up straight. What's number one? Sit up straight. So let me see it. Awesome. You're doing a very good job already. Rule number two is hand. Wow, that's a poofy little outfit there. Uh, rule number two is hands in your lap. What's rule number two? Hands in your lap. So keep them to yourself. Don't put them in your friend's lap. You might get slapped. Okay, so do the best you can to sit up straight. Hands in your lap. Rule number three is no talking. What's number three? No talking. Now, this one's a hard one. The rule number four is big, cheesy, Grin. <laughs> okay, anyway. So do the best you can to sit up straight with the hands slapped, no talking. And then if you could do it, big cheesy grin. Let me see some big cheesy grins, okay? Here we go. Walking around the room with my eyes and seeing what I see. What is a surprise? Yell, yell, yell. I got some bigger cheesy grins with those big old smiley faces painted on your face. But anyway, tonight we're going to have a wonderful time with 20 prize bags. Some of them have five items in it. Some have six some only have four according to how much each item would actually cost. And so those things are up here. You get to come up here and grab one, okay? You can't look inside and say, mm, no, I want the other one. Mm, no, I want the other one. It's a grab bag, okay? So you come up and you grab a bag. <laughs> anyway, so do the best you can to sit up straight. Hands in your lap, no talking. Hey, Stronger Man, come on down. You can grab 10 of these tokens here, and you can give them out to some adults on the girls' side, if you would, please. And Curly, come on up, if you would, and uh, hand these out to some of the fellas or ladies or whoever <laughs> on the guys' side to be able to pass those out by the end of the service. Thank you so much. By the way, by the end of the night tonight, I'm already getting five pies in my face. Can you imagine that? And tonight, so far... So far, so far, Miss Bradley's getting a pie in her face. Yeah. And, and, and not only that, so far, so far, so far, the strong men are getting a pie in their face. So, that being said, there's already eight pies being given out tonight. Wait, that's nine. Nine pies. Good thing I grabbed ten cans. <laughs> ten cans? Get it? Okay, never mind. Uh, still, we're going to have a great time. It's going to be fun. Uh, whew. The most I've ever had in one night, I think it was nine. I know Brother Johnson's had more than that. We used to do it where uh, when Brother Johnson was in charge of vacation Bible schools, if you bring five, you pie him. You bring nine, you get to pie both of us. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, but I was only worth four. <laughs> anyway, all right, <laughs> over the five, that is. Well, I'm excited, and I'm going to put some of these things away so I can just have a great time with you. How about that, okay? Woo! Fix my hair. Is it look Okay. Nope. All right, here we go. We're glad to be here at Vacation Bible School. Do the best you can to sing. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, let's sing together. Ready? Here we go. We're glad to be here at Vacation Bible School. Good. Vacation Bible School. Vacation Bible School. Let's get out. We're glad to be here at Vacation Bible School, where we learn about God's Word. Hey, I think you do better than that. How many of you that was your best? Raise your hand. Oh, that's not good enough. You got to do your best. You got to do your best. All right, Miss Harrison, can you listen for the side that will sing the best? Can you do that for me? You can do that. All right, here we go. Sing it out. Stand up. You sing better standing up. Here we go. Sing. We're glad to be here at Vacation Bible School. Good. Vacation Bible School. Vacation Bible School. Girls, the boys for a thousand 
points right there. I hope and I pray that you have done your best this week to beat the other side. I hope you brought your Bibles tonight. I hope you said your verses tonight. I hope that you did your very best to beat the other side. But I also hope that you came prepared for the offering because that's what's next. Here we go. If you have pennies, pennies first, pennies first, pennies first. Michael, we're going to do pennies first only. Pennies first. There you go. Hold on to the break for a minute. Hold on to the break. Thanks, buddy. There you go. We'll do bricks in a minute. We'll do bricks in a minute. Hold off on those. Pennies, pennies. Yeah, that's the boy's side. You don't want to put it in the girls. Yeah. Hey, there's a giraffe. Good, good, good. I hope you had time to change your change or penny. Uh, what do you call those? Dollars into pennies. Hope you had plenty of time to do that. Woo. So far, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. All right, here we go. Bricks. Do not toss the brick, especially at me, please. Woo! Hallelujah. Bring those bricks. Wow. Where's yours at? Okay. Now that's a poofy outfit. Got it. Calling all bricks. Anybody else have a brick? Don't chunk it, please. Okay. I will be honest, it's not close. I can already get your foot off it. All right, ready we go. Let's count it down. I'll see you know, right? Here we go. On the mark, it says three, two, one. Okay, good. I was just making sure that this side just wouldn't go whoop. It's like the kid at the seesaw. He gets off. You know what I'm talking about? And kaput. You're done for. Big ball volleyball. Who's ready? Here we go. Stay in your seat. Stay in your what? Seat. If you get out of your seat, the points go to the other side automatically. 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 All right. Here we go. Ready? Let's start that thing out at 100 points. Here it goes. And it's to the girls. Right there. It's a little high, but you got it. Here you come. Boys, out of their seat right there. 100 points to the girls. That was easy. All right. Hey, clowns, you guys come up here and help me out. Uh, I'm going to stay up here. Y'all stay down here. Ready? Here we go. Let's up it on the boys' side to start with now. We're going to go to 100 points and start it on the boys' side. There you go. A little too far. There you go, play it, play it, play it, play it. Alright, uh, work here, just don't touch it. It's gonna fall, you touch it, it's dead. Right there, 100 points, girl. 500 points, 500 points, 500 points. 500 points, 500 points. There you see. Girl, touch that, 500 points, boy. Let's put up loud in all your ears. Let's put up loud in. Out of their seat right there, 1,000 points to the girl! Stay in your seat! Don't get out of your seat. Stay in your seat. Keep your seat in the seat. Here it comes. Let's keep it in 1,000 points. 1,000 points. 1,000 points. It could be. It could be. It could be. Good! Alright. 2,000 points. Let's put it all. 2,000 points. Stay in your seat. There it is. It's in the air. It's on the floor. Keep it going, keep it going, points in the last 2,000 points for the girl. Last round, last round, one. This is the two, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000 points right here. the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Let's sing it, and we're going to give 2,000 points away to the side. That sings the best. 2,000 points. All right, here we go. Clap. Clap. 
follow. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Here we go, let's sing. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Here we go, ready? I got the joy, joy, joy. devil doesn't like it, he can sit on a, a bomb. I've heard it say tack before, but I don't want to put the devil on a tack. I want him to sit on a bomb. And when you sit on a bomb, the best thing that happens is what happens? We go one, two, three, boom. So here we go. Ready? And if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on a bomb. And if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on a bomb. And if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on a bomb. Sit on a bomb to stay here. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have never Jesus in my heart. Down in my mind, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I have never Jesus in my heart. Two thousand points. points. Has to go to the girl. I had three guys that were not participating, so sorry. You know who you are. Okay, anyway. Alright, here we go. We're gonna play a game. Who's better the voice of the girl? God bless you. When I say go, first hand up, I'll call on you. You come up here and play the game. Here's how simple it works. You're going to take the balloon, and you're going to hit the balloon starting in the middle all the way to that wall. You'll hit the balloon with the noodle only. Not with your hand, not your head, not your foot. Okay, anyway. All right, just your new, uh, balloon, okay? And guys, you'll go to that wall, turn around, come back. Ready? Here we go. Let's get a guy. On your mark, set, go. First hand up is right here in the black sweater. Note behind you, black sweater right there. Now it was a black jacket that had his head at first. Come on down, here's for you. Can you give that to him since you probably don't want to use pink and red? All right, girls, then you think you can beat him, okay? And not like that, okay? Just, yeah, go. Ooh, that's fast right here in the pink. Come on down. All yours and all yours. All right, back to back, they face each other, drew the swords and shout at each other, just kidding. All right, Neymar, you're going all the way to that wall. Hold the, hold the noodle just right how you want, that's fine. And who's better the boys in the game? Get set. Go, 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 go. We're going back. We're going back. All the way to the wall. Then come back. All the way to the wall. Then come back. All the way to the wall. Then come back. Don't move your feet. All the way to the wall. Then come back. Now we're going back right here. Set, go. Right here is first 10 up. Miss Kara, there's yours, there's yours. On the market set, wait. <laughs> All right, on the market set, go. Ooh, that was fast. Too fast for my eyes. Can you pick the first one? Yes, sir. On the market set, wait. <laughs> Bob, that doesn't sound like go. JT Tomali, here we go. Here we go, on the mark. Yes, yes.
Burton is strongman. By the way, who's better than clowns or strongmen? Really? I think it's a little biased too. Clowns, come over here. You can have the pink balloon. All right, it's four against three. Oh, that's what it is. All right, here we go. Here's you. All you have to do is go to the wall, hand it off to the strongest man. Strongest man, you come back, and you're going to hand it off to Tim, uh, strong man. That's fine, that's fine. We go strong, strongest, stronger, that's fine. But then the first one to that wall and back from the last person wins the round. The key, the key is to keep it low. Key is to keep it low. On your mark, set, go, go, go. <laughs> boys or girls, by the way? Aww. I said, who's better, the boys or the girls? All right, all right. Hey, you guys, what y'all doing? I guess not. All right, here we go. Let's sing a song real quick. <sighs> what are y'all doing? What are you doing? Oh, not, guys, calm down. Oh! Guys! Oh! Aren't you glad that wasn't water? How many are glad that wasn't water? Okay. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. I'll tell that again. Y'all are crazy. Here we go, Cooter, come on down, you all sing with us. I love him better every day. I love him better every day. Here we go. Ready? I love him better every day. protect your frisbee. Well, it's more like a plate. So I need those two plates and a lar two large noodles. All right, here's how it works, okay? One, you have to protect your plate. So you'll hold a plate up in the air like so, and you'll have a noodle in the other hand. So your goal is to knock the plate out of the other person's hand while they're trying to knock the plate out of your hand. So you got to keep it up in the air. That's how it works. Let's get a guy and a girl. Ready? On your mark, get set, go. First hand up was right here on the girl's side. On the guy's side. Ready, set, go. First hand up was all the way in the back. I right hear Miss Cameron come on down. All right, you get one plate and one noodle. One plate and one noodle. 
Who's going to win this game, the boys or the girls? Who's going to win this game, the boys or the girls? All right, here we go. So, you have to hold it up like a waiter. Well, in your case, a waitress. There you go, a little higher. Keep, keep it above your shoulder. Above your shoulder. Above your shoulder. Above your shoulder. Now you all set? Above your shoulder, camera. And go! 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 And his went down first. Thousand points to the girl. Here are the girls. All right, go. First hand up was all the way over here. Miss Bonnie, come on down. On the mark, you set. Go! Right here, come on down in the blue shirt. Come on, Blake. All right, so you hold a plate up in one hand like this. And you take the noodle and you walk over and you knock her plate off, just like that. All right, you got it? That wasn't very fair, was it? All right. You gotta be able to hold the plate. All right. Three, two, one. That was hard. Start over. Ready? Wait till I say go. Ready? Go. Boy, it's right there. If only you could see that in his face. So. David, don't let that thing choke you, okay? On your mark, set, go. Last one, all the way in the back. All the way in the back, yes, with a piece in your head. On your ear, yes, go. Oh, that was fast, but it's all the way in the back row. The back of the front. Yes, sir, come on down. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. All right, here we go. Thousand points. On your mark. Keep it up. Go! Girls right there! All right, Miss Deborah. All right, Curly. Come on down. Here we go. No, you don't have to be blindfolded. All right. You got this. 2,000 points. You're curly. He's cussing. And go! We have noses flying everywhere. Boy, 2,000 points. Are you okay, Max? All right. Yeah, yeah. Here we go, let's sing a song. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's a book for me. I stand alone. When we get to that stand alone, you'll stand alone on the Word of God. Then you take your Bible, the B-I-B-L-E, and you shout Bible. So stay seated for now until we get to that point of stand alone on the Word of God. Ready? It goes like this. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. good but how many know you could do better than that that's what I thought sit down sit down sit down all right hey stronger man since you're close to the middle can you see which side sings the best all right it better be here we go ready love Wow. Good job, guys. All right, what's the most important time of any service? Good. So sit up straight, hinge lap, no talking. I'm going to look for a bonus 10,000 points for the side that does the best during the preaching time. Now, it may not make or break the night, but it does make it a big difference. And I'm going to let Miss Cutie decide. So she's watching. She's got everybody in her peripheral. And she's a mother, so she has eyes behind her head. And uh, just kidding. We're going to Joshua. Matthew, Mark, Luke, Joshua. Just kidding. <laughs> Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Ta-da! We're going to go to the last book of Joshua. Joshua, last chapter of Joshua, chapter 24. Let's go, Joshua. Sixth book of the Bible. Do, 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 do. I see Bibles turning. I hear Bibles turning. Joshua. So if you go at the very beginning, 
keep turning and minus three six three hundred and six three hundred thirty six all right here we go joshua 24 if you're there say yes sir all right look at verse number 15 the bible says and if it seem evil unto you to serve the lord choose you this day whom you will serve whether it be the god he says the gods which your fathers served which were on the other side of the flood or the god of the amorites in whose land you dwell but as for me and my house we will serve the lord and let's pray and we'll get right into it tonight heads bowed eyes closed lord thank you for tonight i know it's the last night of vacation bible school help us to listen on purpose may we put all distractions aside may we do the best we can to make the right decision tonight in jesus name amen and amen you can look up here so the children of Israel were in captivity for a long time in Egypt, around 400 years. So it, obviously it wasn't one person in captivity. It was a whole bunch of people. And it was a generation after generation after generation. You remember when Joseph got captured? and Well, not captured, basically. He got sold into slavery by his brothers to the uh, Ishmaelites, his uh, kind of like cousins, long-distant cousins. Anyway, he got sold into slavery, right? You remember that? And now he saved his family, his dad's name was Jacob and it changed to Israel right you remember the story and so the children of Israel are the sons of Jacob okay he had 12 sons and they became the 12 tribes of Jacob the 12 tribes of Israel so they lived there for about 350 400 years and then the new Pharaoh noticed that all the children of Israel were greater than the number of the people in, Israel, in, in, in Egypt. And he said, this is not good. So he told all of the ladies that were delivering the babies for the ladies of the children of Israel to kill the babies. Is that good or bad? That's bad. But they didn't do it. They didn't obey the king. Oh, he got upset. So he sent his soldiers to do it. And he sent them out to kill all the two-year-olds and, and younger. But there was one that was saved alive. His mom put him in a basket. Who knows his name? Moses. Somebody yelled it out loud. Okay, Moses was saved alive. He was raised in Pharaoh's house. That was amazing. Well, he grew up, did something wrong. He actually ended up killing somebody. Is that good or bad? Bad. So he ran away to try to hide. He ran on the other side of the desert, stayed there for a long time, around 40 years. And then he... he grew in the Lord and he decided what, what to do was right and he decided to walk therein and then all of a sudden he was walking along uh, one day and there was a bush that was sitting there but there was something different about this bush. It was on fire but it wasn't burning. How many have ever seen that? I hadn't. You have? Wow. Okay, no, this bush was on fire. It was burning but it wasn't disintegrating. It wasn't going down. How many have ever had a bonfire before? Those are fun. Don't play with fire though. I remember I was Let's see, I would have been 14 years old, and uh, I remember I was asked to keep the fire going. And so there was a can of gasoline over by the barn, and the, gas, the, the, the fire had dwindled down to almost nothing. And I was like, oh, that's ain't good. There's still a lot still that needs to be burned. And so I picked up this five-gallon jug of gasoline, and it was still full. I'm 14 years old. I got this. I know what I'm doing. And I poured it onto the fire. Who can guess what happened? Yep. That stream of gasoline caught on fire and it went all the way up to the nozzle and it caught the nozzle on fire. Guess what I did? Did I drop it and run? Nope. I prayed real fast. <laughs> God! No, I'm just kidding. I went, <gasps> and it blew out. Thank the Lord. Otherwise, I might look a little different this morning, okay? Uh, my wife my probably would not have married me. I, I'd have looked like Frankenstein, okay? Anyway. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, but. Uh, the Lord protected me. But this bush was not being burned. Well, he turned aside to see, and God called him Moses. Now, I don't know how God really sounds, but we can pretend, right? Moses. And I think Moses kind of got scared because he, he had to call him a second time. 
And it's not good when mama has to call you a second time, but it's also not good when God has to call you a second time. And he turned aside to see, and God called him two times. He turned over, and God told him what to do. He said, go back to Pharaoh and get my people out of the land of Egypt. So he, after debating with God, he gave five excuses why he wasn't the right guy to do it, and then finally obeyed. He went back to Egypt, and after ten plagues, you remember the plagues? I mean, flies, pestilence. I mean, it was like no fun, right, for everybody that was there. And then the last one was when the death angel came through and killed all the firstborn sons of every family unless they put what on the door? The blood of a lamb. See, you know your Bible. That's good. And so, but the children of Israel were finally let go. God protected them. And they were traveling around. Some say it was between one and two million people. That's a lot of people. It takes a lot of time for that many people to walk in a line. I mean, you know, even if their line is 150 people long, it would still be three miles long. That's a long line. Yep. So they're walking along, and they're getting away. And finally, Pharaoh says, uh-uh, let's bring them back. So he got all of his chariots together, 700 of them. And he got all of his soldiers together, and he went chasing them down. Can you imagine? And they're running as fast as they can, and some of them are in their chariots. Yeah, yeah, get up, get up, get up. I want my slaves back. And they're chasing them down. And guess what God did? God was leading the children of Israel by a pillar of fire during the night and a pillar of cloud during the day. And God made it night so on the, on the uh, Egyptian side and brought that pillar of fire around to where they wouldn't come towards the children of Israel because they were trapped now. They were stuck between the, the, the mountain, another mountain, the, the people of Pharaoh, and the Red Sea. How many would be scared? Yeah, they were scared. They thought they were going to die. Well, they all looked to Moses. You know, what, what are you looking at me for? I'm just kidding. He said, well, I'm going to trust God. He stuck his rod out, and guess what God did? God sent a huge east wind. And it came in. The Bible says that God breathed and the, 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 the water parted into two. And when it did, they were able to walk over on dry ground. It took all night long. That's how long it took for those children of Israel to get across. Can you imagine? Here's this huge wall of water on both sides. And as they're walking across, I can imagine here's a little kid. And he's like, wee, running his hands in the wall, you know. And then his grandmother's like, stop, stop, you're going to break it. Okay? And all of a sudden, here's the little kid. He's like, ooh, fishy. And here comes a shark. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And uh, I can just imagine some of the fishes flopping out. Ooh, breakfast. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. But I do know this. God was making a miracle right there. They got all the way across. But just before they got across, here comes Pharaoh and his men. And they're riding, and they're starting to catch up to the children of Israel because they're on chariots. And God made something happen. Who knew what happened next? What happened next? Not yet. Not yet. That's what he said. Not yet. Yes! The chariot wheels fell off. God knocked all their wheels off. And the Bible says they ran them hard. So now they're riding their chariots like sleighs. Ching, 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 ching. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, so they're riding those things, and they're trying to get across the Red Sea as fast as they can to capture those people. And they ran them to the ground and ran them hard, and then the God of heaven took that wind away, and the water closed down. God protected the children of Israel. That wasn't the only time. Again and again, battle after battle. And just before this verse... Joshua is reminding the children of Israel of all these things. He said, you remember when you were in bondage and, and you had, uh, basically, you were beaten and basically you didn't have enough food and basically they were killing our young and God set you free. But now you are choosing other gods. Now you are choosing other things instead of the one true God. That leads us to today. Boys and girls, America is very, very blessed. I've been to 13 different countries, most of them third world countries. I've been in villages where the kids only had one pair of clothes, and that's it. I've been in some villages where they weren't even that fortunate. I've been in some towns where they don't even have cars. That would be nice, but they don't have any. We're very blessed in America. And God was blessing the children of Israel over and over and over again. And what did they end up doing? They started complaining. They started whining. They started bickering. They started pointing back to God and said, You brought us out here to die. Were there not enough graves in Egypt? All that God already did, and they still complained. Do you know, boys and girls, they had a decision to make. It was almost like Joshua pulled out his sword 
put it in the ground and drug it across the whole land of children of Israel and said, ladies and gentlemen, you have a choice to make. Either you serve, key word tonight, either you serve the God of the Amorites in whose land you dwell, or the God of your forefathers who served on the other, the God that they served on the other side of the flood before Noah, or you choose the God of heaven. He said, but as for me, I'm on this side of the line. He said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Boys and girls, you're young. David said, I was, once I was young and now I'm old. And I've never seen God's seed forsaken or a seed begging for bread. God blesses those that are his own. I understand that. But don't let us get to the point where we decide not to serve God. Here are the children of Israel over and over and over again. God blessed them and God blessed them and he gave them things and gave them things. And yet, all of a sudden, they complain. How much do I see that in our lives today? Mom and dad, then they bless you and they bless you and they give you things. And the Bible says that men shall give unto your bosom. So it's not necessarily coming down uh, like, you know, a flo floaty coming from heaven. God doesn't give gifts that way. There's not just a parachute that just drops out of the sky. Uh, maybe later when they do drone deliveries. Uh, but still... Uh, uh, the Bible does say every good gift and every perfect gift coming down from the Father of lights. So God does give us things, and some most of the time it's through man. And so God's giving you good things from your parents. And guess what we do? Christmas comes around. I wanted the blue one. I wanted the pink one. How weird of you, boy. <laughs> uh, I wanted the gray one. I wanted to get the iPod with a uh, 200 gigabytes in it. Not the 16 gigabytes. You gave me the smallest one, Dad. Nikes, I wanted Adidas. Adidas, I wanted pink. Is that a brand? I think pink's a brand. Anyway, Jordans. I, I wanted, what's this guy's name? Steph Curry, that's his name. Sorry, I was trying to rewind in my head to remember his name. Steph Curry, I wanted Curry shoes. I wanted this, that, and the other. Hey, why don't you thank God for the shoes you do have? Why don't you thank God for the things that God is blessing in your life instead of going around and complaining about what you don't have or complaining about what you have, wishing you had something better. Hey, the children of Israel, God made sure that they had food. God made sure that the clothes stayed on the right size. God said, Man, I'm going to make it where your, your feet, your shoes don't wear out. God blessed them over and over and over again and what do we find the children of Israel doing complaining so we have a decision thank you buddy good job you have a decision tonight are you going to complain or be thankful how many of you want to do God's will would you raise your hand good some people have asked preacher and they've asked the staff how do I do God's will how do I know God's will God's will is all through his word Yep, the Bible says, in everything give thanks, for this is the, the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. He says, my will for your life is to be what? Thankful. You've got a decision today. Be thankful or complain. The children of Israel, they started worshiping false gods, and they started to worship evil things, and, and, and God looked and he said, what is going on? I thought you were my people. I thought you were with me. I thought you were on my side. I said, Joshua, remind them what I've done. Remind them what I've done. Sometimes we need reminders of what God's done in our life. God has given us so many things. And God has blessed us so much. But how thankful are we? I remember traveling in evangelism for almost 13 years. I think it was about 12 and a half, something like that. And uh, we were traveling in evangelism. And when we, were, when we first started out, things were kind of rough, you know. Not in a, way, a bad way. We still had food and we still had uh, gas in the car. Sometimes it was just enough to make it to the next place. But God always took care of us. But I remember our parents taught us something very important. They learned, they learned us. <laughs> they taught us to be thankful for even a French fry. To be thankful for even a French fry. There was two young girls for sake of their um, embarrassment. I'm not going to mention their names. But we, my family, my parents, I should say, almost adopted two little girls. And uh, this was probably 18 years ago, 20 years ago, 20 years ago. It's been a while. So I was about 12, something like that. It's been a while. But anyway, and the long story short, uh, they, they, had, they were found in a hotel room with only ketchup to eat. Their mom left them. 
Does that sound good? No. Boys and girls, if you think you have it bad, somebody else has it worse. Don't complain. Don't complain. When you walk around and you think, man, my leg hurts, let God remind you when you see a person that doesn't have a leg at all to be thankful for what you do have. When your power is out at your house, let the Lord help remind you to be thankful you have power most of the time. By the way, we complain when their internet's out. We complain when the AC's out. In Texas, that's a legit complaint, okay? Uh, so, hey, you complain about this, that, and the other, but listen to me. Look up here. It's time to be thankful in everything. You got a, you got a, a bad grade. In everything, be, give thanks. How do you give thanks over a bad grade? I haven't figured that one out yet. Uh, but in everything, give thanks. You, you stubbed your toe in the middle of the night when you're going to sneak some milk out of the refrigerator. In everything, give thanks. You don't see that much. Oh, thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you wake everybody up. What's that? What just happened? Did somebody get saved? No, I stubbed my toe. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, but in everything, give thanks. <laughs> your choice tonight. You decide. Are you going to be a complainer? Or somebody who gives thanks. By the way, I want to help you with something, if I can. It takes practice. It takes practice. Saying thank you doesn't mean you're thankful. Let's put it this way. Um, give me a helper. Mm, perfect, with a basketball. Come here, buddy. Here you go. Thanks. He walks off. Man... I really wanted the red and white one. Pfft. Was I thankful? Mm -mm. Try again. He gives it to me. I appreciate it. A little flat. Was I thankful? No. Try again. He gives it to me. Whoa! Is this for me? To keep? Wow, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll, I'll put it back here. I'm just kidding, okay, all right. Hey, but still, man, thank you so much. Does that look a little more thankful? How about this tone? Thanks. Does that sound thankful? Mom makes you food, and we get, oh, that is a little, okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> Mom gives you food, and you're sitting there, and you're like, Broccoli? Why is the cheese blue? Mom? Yeah. She put dishwasher in the cheese? Blue? That's really gross. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Give him a hand. He's a good guy. I appreciate it, buddy. So number one, I want you to try to trade our grouching and our complaining for being thankful. How about this? Trade your me time for he time. Trade your me time for heat time. Summer, we have a little bit more time on our hands, don't we? Yep, we get to wake up what? Late. Whoa! Isn't that fun? <laughs> Unless you have kids, and your parent was really young ones that, that have a body clock that hasn't gotten over school yet. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> like the other day, Andrew comes in, it's like four in the morning. I won't tell you what he said, but anyway, Daddy, Daddy, he told me something to where I would be proud of him. I'm like, great, great. Um, it's four in the morning. They have no idea what that means. <laughs> no idea what that means. Go back to bed. I'm not tired, Dad. Go back to bed. Yes, sir. Ten minutes later. Now is it time to wake up? Is the sun awake? No. Go back to bed. Wait until the sun wakes up. An hour and a half later. Dad, the sun's awake. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, but I love my boys and my girl. Uh, but anyway, uh, learn to trade the me time for the he time. Hey, would you rather have a cup of coffee as an adult or would you have some Bible time? Would you rather have some video game time or some time with the Lord? Would you rather have some uh, movie time or going out and doing something with your dad? Is it me time or is it he time? I, you need to learn to trade those things. What do you mean, Brother Josh? Here are the young people and the older people, the children of Israel, who wound up trading their God for another God. You've got to be careful we don't do that. Listen, the Bible said, uh, teaches us that worship means to put a value on. So what I put a value on, eventually I learn to worship. 
And if you're not careful, we high value certain things that have nothing to do with God. I should only worship God. Look at me. I'm trying to help you. You have a decision to make. By the way, the older you get, the bigger the decisions come. Now your decisions are um, how much of that food that mama made to eat, to eat, right? Now your decisions are how fast should I clean my room because mom told me to do it. You're going to do it anyway, right? Uh, <coughs> right? Right? Okay, good. Whew. I hope you clean your room. All right. <laughs> Hey, how many of you, this is real quick, but how many of you would like it to where mom would never tell you to make your bed again? Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, yeah. How many would like it if mom never told you, not one time more, mom never told you to clean your room again? Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. I got the secret. I figured it out. Actually, my dad helped me figure it out. <laughs> and that is this. If you never want your mom to tell you to make your bed again, here's the secret. Make your bed. That's the secret. If you make your bed before mom tells you to make your bed, you walk into the room and your mom goes, make your, never mind. Or she may do this, make your, uh, you know what I mean? She's like, oh, yeah. are you okay? Let's check your temperature. Okay, did you actually sleep in the bed last night? Okay, uh, how many have ever slept on the floor? Yeah, I've done that too. Uh, anyway, I, I remember one time, I was really little. Mom said, why are you on the floor? I don't want to make my bed tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, do you remember that one? <laughs> uh, anyway, so still, hey, make the bed. And mom won't have to tell you to make it. Hey, listen, it works with this thing of being thankful too. How many of times have your mom said, say what? Say thank you. But if we can get it stuck in our head to learn to be thankful, then saying thank you is second nature. It's almost like, oh, yeah, of course. I will say it. Mom don't have to tell me anymore. Somebody gives it to you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Like, overbuild it up sometimes. You know, it's like, Mom, that's just wonderful. Don't lie. If it's not the one you wanted, don't say, that's just the one I wanted. But you couldn't be truthful and say, Mom, thank you so much for the sacrifice that you've done to where I could have this. Thank you. You can be truthful. By the way, some of you, both of your parents work just so you have a roof over your head. Be thankful. Now let's trade our he time, our me time for he time. Who am I talking about with the he? Who knows? God, yeah. What can I do for God? Somebody give me some. Yes, sir? We can pray to him. Yep. And read our Bible. I love how you included both. So many Christians, they put them individually. And it's almost like a, a one-way conversation. If you only pray to God but never allow, read his word, you're not, I mean, it's like one-way communication. I'm talking to you, but you can't talk to me. I mean, that's kind of like rude, right? It's like hitting mute when somebody else is on the phone. Uh, anyway, give me another one. Yes, ma'am? Go to church. I love church. How many love church? You're here tonight. By the way, we have church Sunday, 745. I'm just kidding. 945 in the morning. Some of you were like, oh, no. 945 in the morning, Sunday school. Junior church is at 1040. It's going to be great. And then here they start at 1045. But still, it's awesome stuff. You got to be here. But anyway, church, give me another one. Dustin, spend time with him. Yes. Leading people to the Lord. Yes. Soul winning, leading people to the Lord. Yes. You were going to too? They stole yours. They were, your brain was sharing. You forgot? That's fine. I forget a lot of things. Yes. Obeying your mom and dad. Giving. Talking to him. Last one. Bonnie? One more time honoring your father and mother and boys and girls you're giving me the list i didn't have to give it to you you know what to do so now let's do it let's trade our me time for he time how many like basketball i like basketball yeah why don't you trade that because that's you time for some time for him how many girls you like uh crafts you like crafts a few how many like video games Okay, more than craft, okay. Uh, how about, what's something that girls do? I'm a guy. Watching movies. I don't know. What's something girls do? Paint? That's craft. Uh, well, at least in, in my eyes. It's in the craft, if it's sold in the craft store, it's craft in my eyes, okay? All right, but still, that's me time. Things I like to do, 
That's me time. But you know what's really neat? Is when you get to the point that me time is he time. Your favorite things to do are spending time with him. It's hard to get to that point, but I hope you can get there. So the decision, but the most important one, is last. Would you decide to receive Jesus or reject him? Receive doesn't necessarily mean it's an over and over again thing to where you're, you're receiving him all the time, almost like you're on his side and you're not trading sides. That's not what it's talking about. There's one time in your life, one point in your life, where you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Or you want to reject him. Now, reject doesn't mean you don't want God. It just simply means you don't receive him. Does that make sense? Let's put it this way. If I gave you a gift and I am a very poor person and you're a multi-billionaire and I gave you my last dollar, would you take my dollar? Some of you wouldn't because you wouldn't, what, need my dollar. I would have a bigger need than you. And some people are in that position with God. They don't think they have a need of God. So they don't receive him. So I have to ask you today, will you be one to be thankful or complain? Will you be one to trade your he time, your me time for he time? And lastly, would you accept or reject? A lot of decisions to make in life. Those are the three thoughts that the Lord kept slamming on my heart today. Would you be one to receive him? or reject him. Would you bow your head and close your eyes? Maybe you're here tonight, and that last one kind of hit right there of, I have never received Jesus Christ. I don't even know what that means, but I'd like to receive him. But let me put it another way. Brother Josh, I do not know for sure if I died, I'd go to heaven, but I'd like to know that for sure. If that's you, would you just show me real quick by raising your hand? I do not know I'm going to heaven, but I'd like to know that for sure. Would you raise your hand? I do not know I'm going to heaven. I see that hand. God bless you. I see that hand in the back. I see that hand, buddy. Thank you, sister. Thank you. God bless you. Anybody else? I do not know I'm going to heaven, but I'd like to know that for sure. Quite a few. All right. Maybe your hand's in the air and you mean business, and you say, I want to know that for sure. Keep it up just for a second and look at me. Just those who raise their hand. So your hand should be on the air. Your eyes should be on me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do me a favor. Just stand up right where you are and go straight back to our pastor. That's our pastor in the blue with the reddish tie. Go straight to him, and he'll take the Bible or have somebody take the Bible to show you what the Bible says about going to heaven when you die. Would you also go? You raise your hand. Thank you. Anybody else like that? I want to know I'm going to heaven when I die. Not a hope so, a no so. I see that hand. Would you also go talk to preacher as well? Thank you, buddy. Adults, please don't stop anybody from going. If they want to talk to somebody about going to heaven, please let them go. And you can obviously clear, uh, talk to them afterwards as well. Maybe you're here tonight and say, Brother Josh, uh, the Lord spoke to my heart tonight. I need to be more thankful. If that's you, would you just slip it up? I need to be more thankful. If that's you, would you raise your hand? I need to be more thankful. Less complaining, more thankful. Less complaining, more thankful. God bless you all over the room. Let's put our hands down. Next subject matter was simply trading our he time for me time. I mean, tonight, say, Brother Josh, I've not been giving God enough time, but starting tonight, I'm going to do the best I can to give God more time. I'm going to give God more of the personal things that I have, more of the personal time that I have. I'm going to trade it the right way. If that's you, would you raise your hand? God bless you all over this room. And let's pray together. Lord, I do pray that you'd be with the message tonight. Help us to make the right decision. Help us to look around and simply make the, a bold statement as for me as for me i will serve the lord as for me in my house we will serve the lord lord i do pray that you help us to do the best that we can to honor and glorify you and everything we say everything we do and everything that we present lord to others lord we love you and help us to show it now in jesus name everybody said amen and amen hey if you learned something say i did 
Good, 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 good. Let's play a game real quick. This game, I need uh, Curly up here, please. And Miss Deborah, would you mind coming as well? All right, don't forget, one of these folks are getting a pie then. <laughs> this game, we kind of alluded to it the other day, but that is bring it up. When I call for an item, you run it up as fast as you can, but it has to be in her hands first or his hands first, okay? I'm not going to do anything gross like a booger. That's just nasty, okay? I, but I will call out some things, all right? Here we go. Ready. I need... On your mark, set, something blue. Ooh, that was hard. Cannot throw it, but it was in her hand first. You have, that's why it's called bring it up. That's why it's called bring it up. Right there, 200 points of girls. Let's go to 500 points, 500 points. Ready, here we go. I need a picture of preacher. I need a picture of preacher. Hurry, 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 hurry. Uh, that was hard to tell, but I think it was over here. All right, there you have it right there. Stronger man, can you look for that and help me? Because my peripheral actually stops about right there. Okay. Anyway, all right, here we go. I need in their hands really fast a Bible. Wait, open to John 14, 6. Go, go, go. John 14, 6. Yep, okay, right there, girls. 500 points, 500 points. Let's up it to 1,000. Let's up it to 1,000. I need a green shoe. Something with green on your shoe. Girls, right there. All right. That's rare. That's rare. I need a clown hair. Clown hair. There you go, right there, girls. It's attached. Is it really dyed in your... Oh, okay, no, no. I, that would be, like, a lot to get out. All right. I need... Ready. We're going to make this a 1,000 points. Ready? Do not break them, but I need a pair of glasses. Right there, boys! 1,000 points. No, yours don't count. Or else I could count his, too. Okay? They're already in his head. All right, ready? Good job. Yeah. yeah. Your glasses? <laughs> if you can't find your glasses when they're on your eyes, you need a new prescription. All right. <laughs> I need a clown nose. Ooh, which side was it, brother? Stronger man? Counting on you. Girls, right there. A thousand points. Ready? I need three of the same size shoes. Not to me. He's got to have it. Three of the same size shoe. All three have to be different. All three have to be different. Are they all the same size? Wow, that many people don't have shoe sizes in their shoes? <laughs> Just... Five, four, three, two... You got it? All right there, boys! Okay. Recollect your shoes. I smell defeat. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right, ready. I. All right, listen up. I need a circus invitation, like a flyer. A circus invitation. Right there, girls. Got it. Right there. Wow. Ready. Let's do some fast ones. Get up here as fast as you can. I need something pink. Girls, right there, ready? Since that was mostly to the girls, I need a tie. Right there, all right. And there's two clowns that have a tie. All right, ready? On your mark, get set, go. I didn't tell you what it was. I need, hey, 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 get back, get back there. Get back there. All right, I need something purple. Two more. 
Girls, right there. Ready? Two more, two more, two more. I need a candy wrapper. Girls, right there. Last one. Last one. I need, listen closely for this. Don't just run up without it, okay? I need a picture of Abraham Lincoln. Right there. All right. Abraham Lincoln is on the penny and the what? $5 bill. Good job. All right. Good job. Well, we got a lot of things to still do, so let's move along with our service. Give them a hand. That's really good. Good stuff. We need to add up a lot of points, so let's try and get as much of that out of the way as we can. Okay? So if you brought a Bible, thank you. If you brought a Bible, would you get that out for us, please? Count those Bibles. Um, tonight, it's 200 points of Bible, but just give me the number and we'll double it, okay? Da, 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 da. We can know, can know our sins are washed away. We can know our sins are washed away. There's some up, there's some up top too. What's that? That'd be cool. Count the Bibles, count the Bibles, count the Bibles. All right, ready, buddy? Here's how you juggle. Ready? So you throw one up. Before it comes down, you throw the next one. See? Practice for two, though, first. Da, 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 da. We go. Ready, I need a number, I need a number, I need a number, I need a number, I need a number. Julius, can I have that ball, please? That ball? Thank you. 112 on the guys. That's as, that is as if, that is as if they brought 224, right? So, there you have it. As if they brought 224. So that is, that's a lot. All right, yep, that was right. That's 22,400 points to the boys. Good job. All right. Yours? 129 on the girls. That's 25,800 points to the girls right there. Miss Mason, I don't see you. Okay, now I now see you. Okay? That's 25,800. If you have a hat, sorry. If you have a circus-style outfit on, stand up. Circus style outfit. Today we're gonna let the strong men pick the guys and the clowns pick the girls of the best three. Best three. Uh, after they're counted, yes. to the girls. Good job. That's 3,900 points to the ladies. Good job, girl. All right, fellas, what do you have? 25. That's 5,000 points to the fellas. Good. All right. All right, clowns, I need you to pick the top three girls. The girls, you can have something off up here. Uh, guys, I, strong men, I need to pick three strong men. I mean, three of the guys that look the part tonight. Just grab something off that up there, except my uh, giraffe. Can't have my giraffe on Sawi. Ladies, go ahead and go on over and grab something before the guys get the first choice. Girl, the 
the three clowns pick? Okay, who's the third lady? All right, going up, going up, going up. Give them all a hand. All right. So glad I'm not picking. Okay. May I say this? You have no business making fun of somebody else's outfit, hat, or even, what else did we do? Hair. Okay? It's all for crazy. It's supposed to look crazy. Okay? All right. Don't be that rude. All right, here we go. Let's add some more points in. Curls said 29 verses. Good job, girls. So, that is 58 thousand points to the curl versus for the boys they said 26 that's 52 thousand points to the boys wow wow that's a lot of visitors let's see oh no no that's that's i'm sorry that's not it that's not it that's it okay visitors for the girl side Sixteen visitors on the girls' side. That's thirty-two thousand points for the girls. Here we go. Ready? I need Annalise Perales. Go grab three. Carolyn Young. Go grab three. Kara Wilson. Go grab three. Ciela Vega. Go grab two. Isabella Kramer. Go grab two. Katie Lofton. Go grab two. Mary Sue. Go grab two. Annalise Flores. Go grab two. Where are the fellas that brought visitors tonight? Did no visitors get brought by the boys? Oh, there it is. I see it now. For the boys, here it is. Nine visitors were brought from the guys' side. That's 18,000 points for the boys. All right. Uh, you can look. It's on one of these lists. Ready. And let me call you up. Caleb Flores, grab one. Andrew Flores, grab one. Caleb Swart, grab one. David Swart, grab one. Felipe Vega, one. Joseph Sweatman, two. Samuel Craig, two. So I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pies in the face. Wow. Wow. Good job, y'all. That's a lot of pies. Good job. I'm proud of you for that. Give them all a hand. They did a great job bringing visitors. All right, while they're adding up score, we're going to go ahead and do our raffle. So I need the blue bucket and the green bucket to do a separate raffle. You already got it, don't you? All right, let's still get on with our raffle if we can. Let's get that bike out over here. Let's get the other bike over here. Bring the teddy bears up. We'll do those in a minute. Let's do our boys first since it's here. Here, I'll shuffle it in. You draw. That way, it nobody thinks where the Josh is playing favorites at all. This is for the boys bike. Who wants it? Say me. And the boy bike goes to, drum roll please, Mr. Samuel Craig. I do have gift receipts. If and that's for the guys, we'll mix those in with the girls in a minute. Let me shuffle this in. All right, here we go. For the girl bike, for the girl bike, we have a name drawn. Annalise Ferrelli! And that will definitely need a gift receipt because that's way too big. All right, there you have it, folks, for that. All right, let's mix these in, guys. Here's how we're gonna do it. Um, give me a bigger box. That one's got a bunch of stuff in it. There's a box over there. There's a box over there. All right. We're going to give away the elephant. Who wants the elephant? Say me. This large bear and the large tiger. Oh, great job. Don't want to miss that. Yeah, there you go. Shuffle it in good. All right. Good job. It could be a guy. Hey, cutie, come up here. All right, here we go. The 
Let's give away the elephant first. Ready? Here's the first draw. Elephant goes to the one and the only, Bonnie Cruff. Come on down, Miss Bonnie. All right, strongest man, you get to draw the next one. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go with this big old teddy bear. Who wants the big teddy bear? All right, here we go. Hey, remember, in everything give thanks. I didn't, I didn't win it. In everything give thanks. Did you already draw one? Here it is. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Ram Rodriguez. Where you at, Ram? Oh, good job. She's asleep. That would be an awesome thing to wake up to. Don't wake her up, but just, she'll be, she'll be dreaming of that thing tonight. All right, who hasn't drawn something yet? I only got one left. All right, that's fine. Here we go, mister. You ready? Okay, either way, I just need somebody to draw. Last but not least, goes to, boy, my guys in the back cannot spell. I, I'm sorry, I should not say. Colton Palmore! Cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. We ready? All right. Whew. Let's find out who won Vacation Bible School. Who do you think won Vacation Bible School, the boys or the girls? Here we go. Is there any other points I'm missing? There are. Cutie, during the message, I said that you needed to look for 10,000 points. Do you have that today? Who is it? Girl. Awesome. All right. Tonight, let's do the clowns and the strong men first. The strong men, yes, the strong men had a total of four victories. Give the strong men a hand. However, the clowns had six victories. So the strong men get a pie in the face. I have an outstanding rule in the back of my head. I never let one item win a night. I don't let one item win a night. If only, unless it's like, you know, there's only one memory verse or something like that, that's understandable. So the score is now tight. Like, now it's like really tight. Like, like really tight. That being said, Last night, the girls started out with 148,000 points. The boys started out tonight with 174,800 points. But as a turn of events, the girls leave. Y'all ready? The boys leave with 290,500 points for the boys. 295. The girls leave with, give me a big drum roll. 309,300 points. The girls win vacation final school for 2021. Let me hear it for the girls. still won. So it was 299 for the girls and it was 290 for the boys. So either way the girls got it. So give the girls a hand. That's awesome. All right, give us a second. We're going to make sure we're all set for a pie and then we're going to call the kiddos up to get a pie. We're going to do the clowns first. All right. I'm going to get this out of the way. No, the clowns are giving the pie. 
Don't forget, sit up straight, hinge line, no talking, because we will be giving away quiet seats in a minute. All right, strong men, those clown outfits are uh, expensive, so I'm glad we're not buying y'all. All right. Yeah, it was biased from the beginning. Yes, yes. Come on, guys. Uh, make sure you read it, because some of them say, don't shake. Oh! Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hey, let's sing a song while they're setting it up. Here we go. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I've got him on my mind. Here we go. Sing. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I've got him on my mind. Sing. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I've got him on my mind. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I've got him on my mind. Oh, I've got Jesus on my mind. Stop. I need a bag on each one of you guys if you would handle that for me. I don't want to get those outfits messed up. Here we go. When I read my Bible, clap, 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 clap. When I read my Bible, I've got them on my mind. When I read my Bible, I've got them on my mind. When I read my Bible, I've got them on my mind. Oh, I've got you on my mind. When you see me praying, when you see me praying, I've got them on my mind. When you see me praying, I've got them on my mind. When you see me praying, I've got them on my mind. Oh, I've got Jesus on my mind. When we get to that O, oh, you stand up and you just give it a big old O. Oh, three, two, one. Ready? O. Oh. Again, three, two, one. O. Oh. oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ready? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I've got them on my mind. Jesus, 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 I've got him on my mind. Jesus, 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 I've got him on my mind. Oh, I've got Jesus on my mind. Stop. All right, y'all ready? All right. There should, uh, only one, because I got a lot. You're just holding. Okay, all right. Only one pie per. Ready? Yes, we have towels. Sure, I'll hold it back. No, I'm not holding back, drum. <laughs> Here we go, we're gonna do a countdown, ready? Count with me, I'm gonna get out of the way. Three, two, one. Yeah. Turn so everybody can see you. All right. Is that your first pie in the face? <laughs> you have been initiated into the children's ministry. All right, here we go. You're licking the pie that you're gonna put in their face. That's just gross. All right, ready, here we go, next one. All right, here we go, stronger man. Ready, count. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, where, oh, you stepped right in that plate too. When you're done with the plate, don't put it on the floor. If you can help me with that, that'd be great. After your pie, don't put the plate on the floor. Collect them, thanks. Ready, all right, here we go. Strongest man gets a pie. Where's my backdrop? Three, two, one. Let it breathe. There you go. Why did you have to spit that across the pulpit? All right. Here, can you get the mic? Just the hook. Take the hook off, please. All right. Make sure I'm not all single. Great stuff. All right, team captains, come up here. Curly gets a pie. Curly gets a pie. Curly gets a pie. Here we go. So much for the nose. Here it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Brother Mason, I'm going to switch out to a handheld. I got the one on the stand. Hey, Amen. All right. Oh, I am hot. Not like that. Okay. Here we go. Jeremiah. Don't mess that up, please. Here we go. All right. Come on, hurry up, Mr. Curly. Nah, he's fine. Oh, wait, he's got his hair on? Yeah, I need that for next week. Shave and a haircut. <laughs> Two bits. Do you want my gla your glasses? All right, here we go. Girls, are you glad you won? Say yes, sir. All right, you ready? Here we go. Count it down. Ready? Three, two, one. 
Oh, I right, turn and show everybody. Turn and show everybody. Everybody has to see uh, a side shot. Profile. That's a profile pile. A uh, profile pie. Profile pie. Say that five times fast. Here we go. As I call your name, come up. Andrew Flores, Caleb Flores, Joseph Sweatman, Nathaniel Polywathical. Hang on, that's the guys. Girls, Anna Lee Flores, Kara Wilson, Katie Lofton. Come on down. These individuals brought five or more visitors for their team. Give them a hand. All right. All right. Can I have a clean bag instead of using a double up? All right. Oh, so nice. Hold that. Brother Josh, Brother Josh, Brother Josh. Woo! -hoo! By the way, I think everybody did a great job at Vacation Bible School. 17 people brought a visitor. That's really good. And so good job for that. I'm proud of you for doing that. All right. Let's let our ladies go first. Yes, do. So let our ladies go first. All right. Ready? Come on down over here. Now listen closely. You do not have to throw it. You can place it. But also keep in mind, I cannot hold my breath for more than a minute. Okay? Just keep that in mind. So don't just go. All right, we're going to turn just a little bit. You're going to stand right there. Stand right there. And you behind me so they can see too. All right. Two, one, go! Yay! Oh, good job. Good job. All right, Katie, your turn. Step up here. Okay, now we'll be ready. Three, two, way all night whoa I do have it everywhere it's, I'm dripping wow that's foggy next time I'll wear glasses I think all right was that fun say yes sir here you go you want that let's do quiet seat prizes you had to be sitting up straight with your hands in your lap not talking wow 
Yes, I just did that. Oops. Here we go. Quiet seats. You had to be having a uh, stand up straight with the hands live, not talking the whole time. They're going to be giving you a token if you did so. Awesome. Yes, pass those out. Pass those out. Pass those out. Sorry, didn't mean to make you wait. Whew. I smell whipped cream. Uh. Trade in your tokens at the table. You get one bag. Don't, don't be picky. Just grab one. Most of them are almost the same. Should only be 20 because that's how many bags I have. By the way, everybody on your way out, get you a bag of popcorn. Say, ooh. There is a, uh, there is a, there are, yes, there is a box that has the gluten-free and all that kind of stuff. There is a box out there for that too. Uh, GMO-free. All that kind of stuff. So don't grab those if you're not gluten free, though, because I only got like 35 of those, okay? Is that everybody? Why do I have one left? Did somebody not pass out a token? Like, I don't just give it away. I mean, did somebody have a token that hadn't come up yet, didn't know what to do with it? All right. Whew. Hey, if you've had fun at Vacation Bible School this year, say, yes, sir. Good, good. Well, fellas, I'm sad to say that our all good things must come to an end. This is the last night of Vacation Bible School. Everybody say, aww. But in everything, give thanks, right? <laughs> so I want to say a big thank you for coming. You did a great job. How many were here every night? Stand up. You were here every night. Stand up. Wow. Look at you. Give them a hand. That's great. Perfect attendance. That's awesome. Good, good. Ooh. Hang on just a second. Because I can't see past the first row yet. A little better. All right. Good job. Sit down. On your way out, everybody gets a, a bag of popcorn. Don't forget that. Sunday school starts at 945. Junior church is 10. 40, main service, 1045. Don't forget about that. Try to be here this Sunday. How many say, Brother Josh, I'm going to come this Sunday. I'm going to come this Sunday. Great. Uh, hopefully with your parents' permission. Amen. All right. Try to come if you can. And if you can't, I understand. But at the same time, we do have live stream. Check us out. It'd be great. Okay? Whew. Ready? Here we go. Let's pray. Heads bowed. Eyes closed. Good job. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much. All the work that went into this, thank you for all the workers. A lot of preparation went into this week. Thank you so much. Help us, Lord, to always put you first in everything we say and do. May this Vacation Bible School remem be remembered by most of these boys and girls. I know several of them will remember it as the day they got saved. They asked Jesus in their heart. Lord, that's wonderful. Help us as we go our separate ways. Keep us safe. Bring us back to church on Sunday in Jesus' name. Everybody said. Amen. Before you go, if you helped in Vacation Bible School, if you're standing, raise your hand. But if you're not, stand up if you would. Whether you packed bags, whether you helped decorate, you helped whatever, great stuff. Give them all a hand. That's wonderful. I appreciate it. Awesome. Don't want to leave that out. And that's great. If you wouldn't mind, it does take a lot to pick up and clean up. So if, if you're an adult and you want to hang around for a few minutes, um, we got to actually transfer all of this stuff to the gym. We're going to do Vacation Bible School in there for those that ride the buses. And we put the pews, hymnals back, a lot of stuff. So if you're available to stay, we'd like that a lot. At this time, though, if your parents are in the back, good night. And God bless you. And thank you for coming to Vacation Bible School 20. 21. Only one bag of popcorn, please. Only one bag of popcorn.